Hi, I'm Matt from Hitachi High Tech Analytical Science. At Hitachi, we're lucky enough to have a range of different analyzers used in the scrap metal industry. We have handheld XRF analyzers, handheld LIBS analyzers, and mobile and stationary OES analyzers. Today, I'm at our UK agent, JMC Recycling Systems, and I'm going to answer some of your questions to help you decide which one of our analyzers is best suited to you. Our Vulcan LIBS analyzer only has one calibration, uh, the alloy calibration, so if you need any additional calibrations, such as precious metal, um, you're going, the best analyzer for you would be our XMET 8000 handheld XRF analyzer. For precious metals, we even have a travel stand with a little tray, which can enable you to measure jewellery on the go. Our XMET 8000 handheld XRF analyzer has got a variety of different applications. You can even use this same travel stand setup and prepare your catalyst powder in a small little sample cup like this one. And this has a precious metal and car catalyst calibration that's going to detect your catalyst powders. If you're wanting to move to com uh, complete testing, testing every component coming into the yard, the handheld LIBS analyzer is going to be far better for you. Uh, the Vulcan analyzer has a one second uh, analysis time and you can hold samples in the palm of your hand. It even takes one second for aluminiums, which might take 20 to 30 seconds with an XRF analyzer. I'll show you just how fast it is. So with an analyzer like this, um, you're going to get through all of those materials far faster, um, many more samples in a day. Both of our handheld analyzers are IP54 rated for splash and dust resistance, so you can use them in the rain, but you couldn't use them underwater. So neither of them are particularly easy to break. If you were going to nitpick XRF analyzers have a thin uh, plastic window on the front which you, can, you could tear on a piece of swarf or a sharp edge on a piece of metal which you don't have uh, with a LIBS analyzer. Um, so I'd say a little bit the XRF analyzer is, is easier to break but they're both designed to work in quite robust environments. Well both our handheld analyzers are pretty much point and click operation. Um, but I would say, um, because the XRF analyzer uses x-rays, uh, the Vulcan analyzer is easier to use because you can sort of hold um, samples in the palm of your hand. So if you've got small, fiddly little things like this, um, it's easier with a LIBS analyzer. Yeah, we hear a lot that you can't measure swarf with LIBS. Um, if you're trying to measure uh, the chemical composition for a bulk uh, stock of swarf. Because with an XRF analyzer you've got this wider measurement window and it penetrates a little bit deeper into the sample, um, it is easier to do it with an XRF analyzer. But in terms of measuring, if you've got one load of swarf in and it's all the same material, I actually find it easier with a LIBS analyzer uh, to measure swarf. As easy as that, and this is a, a tiny piece of swarf. Um, so if it's something that you do a lot, XRF might be something that you prefer, um, but it's perfectly possible with a LIBS analyzer. Yeah, so technically this is true. With an XRF analyzer, you've got a wider measurement window and a longer measurement time, so this will give you a little bit more sensitivity uh, than you would get with a LIBS analyzer. However, the difference in sensitivity is not really enough uh, to shift a grade from one grade to another. Um, we actually find some of our customers are saying with LIBS analyzers it ends up being more accurate because it allows you to do far more measurements in the same amount of time, which means that you, um, for the bulk stock on the whole, you're actually getting improved uh, grade matching than you would with an XRF analyzer. If you're really concerned about sensitivity and precision, we also do mobile OES analyzers. Mobile OES analyzers um, 
will also enable you to measure your lighter elements like your carbon, sulfur and phosphorus and will give you a chemistry that is that little bit closer to certified standard. Okay, the important question. Um, both our hand handheld analyzers are very comparably pr priced. What we have a model that doesn't measure light elements and a model that does measure light elements um, for each um, and they're very closely matched to one another. We don't want price to be the thing that makes you, makes you decide on one analyzer or another. What we want is to choose the best analyzer for your application so that you're getting the one that best suits your needs. It's difficult for, difficult for me to answer because obviously it determined, it's determined entirely by what it is that you're doing with the analyzer. If, you, if this is your first analyzer um, and you get a few different things, uh, you get some car catalysts, you get some precious metals um, and you want something for doing your alloys, um, the XMA 8000 uh, handheld XRF analyzer will give you that flexibility, it is a bit of an all-rounder. If you're wanting a high throughput, you get a lot of materials going through your yard, I think for 95% of materials, the LIBS analyzer will do what you need to do and it will do it faster and easier. So it should pay for itself more quickly. If you really want to dig down into the chemistry and get the ultimate sensitivity um, and also uh, detect elements like carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, so you can differentiate between your 316 and your 316L, then a mobile or a stationary OES system would be the best suited one for you. Right, I hope that this uh, clears up some of your questions. If you have any other questions or you'd like to see any of these analyzers on your own yard, please don't hesitate to contact us.